Hello everyone, welcome to Kinato Club. I am Noman and today I will be showing you how to bypass the user access control screen on Windows 10. So as you all know it is very irritating when you have to start an app with admin privileges and every time you want to do that there is a user access control screen that pops up. For example purposes I will be showing you this example with the app registry editor. So once you open this application you can see that it pops up a user access control screen asking for permission to allow this application. This is really irritating because you know that you want to start this application and every time you want to start this application this process will be reiterated. So to bypass this thing what we'll do is we'll use the task scheduler app which helps us to bypass such admin notifications. So I'll start the task scheduler app. In the task scheduler library, I will have to create a new folder just for simplification purposes. So here you can see I've created a my apps folder, but if you want to create a new folder, just right click on task scheduler library and click new folder and enter the name of the new folder that you want to create. Once you have created this new folder, you have to enter into this new folder and click on create task. In the create task dialog box, you can name the task whatever you want to. Here I'll name it reg registry editor dash elevated. You can enter the description of the task about what the task is doing. So here run the application with admin privileges. Okay. Now to run this application registry editor with highest privilege we'll have to click on the run with highest privilege checkbox. In the conditions, make sure that you untick this checkbox, start the task only if the computer is on AC power. Once we have done that, we'll go to the actions tab. In the actions tab, we need to specify an action that will occur when this task start starts. So for this, click on new. Now what we'll do is we'll use command prompt and supply an argument to command prompt with the path of the file that we want to run. In this example, we are using registry editor. So first, we'll browse the program script for command prompt or I'll simply enter the file path to command prompt, which is win directory slash system32 slash cmd.txt. Okay. Now in the arguments, I need to supply the arguments which will help the command prompt to start our application with admin privileges. So here I'll put slash c which is slash command start open and close quotes and the path to the file which I want to open. So for the registry editor, the path is cwindows slash regedit.exe. Please remember this command is going to be the same in all the cases. In the start in box we need to supply home direct home drive percentage and percentage home path percentage. This supplies the environment variable home path which is necessary to run the app in front of the screen otherwise the app will run in the background next you click on ok you can see now that the action is added now you can click on ok over here now to test this application you can select this application and click on run as you can see it runs the registry editor without any user access prompt now what you have to do is you just have to create a new shortcut that would run this task whenever it's open so you right click on the desktop screen you can just close the task scheduler. You can right click on the desktop screen. Click on new shortcut. Now to type the location of the item, you have to supply the file part to the task scheduler exe file, which is c slash windows slash sys 
system 32 slash sch task dot exe and in runtime arguments you have to supply slash run slash pn and the for name of the folder that you created in the task scheduler that is my apps slash the name of the task that you created that was registry edit slash elevated now after this just click on next give the name of the shop shortcut which would be registry edit and click on finish now you can see there is a shortcut over here when i run this it will open registry editor without the uac prompt now if you want just for an advanced tutorial you can just replace the icon of this shortcut with the icon of the registry editor just ignore this volume warning now click on browse you need to browse for the registry editor file so i'll just search for it this is the file click on open you can find this icon click ok click apply click ok so now you have successfully created the shortcut now you just have to run the shortcut and voila you have bypassed your usc access key that's all for this tutorial thank you and have a great day